for this room meal. my name is Sinash Nicole and I'm Mika Lastry and um, we're kind of giddy today because we're doing another Halloween look and um, so we have some accessories again that we bought from literally the dollar store and we're just going to do a makeup look that goes along with it yes um, I think for yours you have some like ladybug ears mine are ladybug ears yeah on the Dollar Tree and no I did not get the wings to match but <laughs> I should have and yours and I have um like purple bat ears so sexy right there you <laughs> so i'm you can imagine bat wings is what i was attracted to so i'm gonna yeah. definitely be making bigger some crazy something on my face wings of course yeah. yeah so we have a couple of palettes in front of us because we just couldn't decide what colors we really were going for yeah um but of course mine's gonna be very like red and black and white face so i'm using the makeup revolution alexa stone palette and we just did a review on this so if you want to check that out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'm going to start with the color pop it's my pleasure because this, it has a good purple base to okay. it so um you know i'm just going to kind of start there it's really pretty Pretty. Oh yeah. That's I don't think I've even played in these a little bit. And then also I'll be going to the Morphe Such a Gem palette because it's all pinks and purples. So it yeah. is. And I'm gonna be doing like a lot of reds on my eyelid and then bring in some liner, some dots, and just keep it kind of simple, which is weird, but I think simple I think just gonna simple is gonna go a long way with this one. I might draw like little lines maybe of like it. Ladybug, you know, mm -hmm. walking on me or something, but for the oh. most part, I'm very simple, very basic. Um, so out of this palette right here, I'm gonna use this very vibrant, very beautiful red. And like we said in our review, this palette actually does not have names, y'all. Mm. I mean, I know we read this recently, but I forgot the level of pigmentation in this palette. Like <laughs> this red, legit, wow. I know. Woo! It's such a yeah. It's, Dang. It's, it's a palette, man. Dang. Okay. To start carving this out with shadows, I'm going to be going in with uh, this one is called Chiclet, right there. She said. Yeah, chiclet. I'm going to jump into the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette and I'm going to take this color right here in the corner called Licorice. Right here. And we're just going to put that right above the color we used for Makeup Revolution. And I'm going to use a blender brush, but it's a um, gum sheet. So I know for my under eye to make that bat wing shape, like this is the first part of the wing up to under here that I've made in the corner. I'm also going to be putting like a little bit of a, I don't know what the name of that is, like another curve under here that goes underneath the eye mm -hmm. and another one under here because think bat wings. So, um, yeah, yeah, so I'm still using chiclet and this is a close up of it right here. I'm using chiclet and I'm going to be outlining the shape underneath my eye with this uh, wet and wild brush. I think it's it's just a very pre precise brush right there. So is that your favorite brush that you're talking about? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go in back with the Makeup Revolutions Alexa Stone palette, and we're gonna choose this pretty little red shade right here. And it's gonna kind of go my kind of gonna go to eyebrow bone. <laughs> So I'm gonna go in with this purple right here. You know, we don't really keep up with those Morphe cheap things because it's kind of difficult to do that. And because I know like at the very end, I'm gonna make my um, eyebrows go a little bit longer than usual, I'm gonna bring some of the color out just slightly past the very end of my brow area. Not too much, but just a little bit. And I just decided that on the spot, so. <laughs> That's a cool thing, about, especially something like this that doesn't have a guide to it. Mm -hmm. You just 
playing with color and figuring out where you're going with it. Yeah. Well, I have an idea in my mind. And then as you place the colors. Yeah, it starts to take form. Right. What you will and won't do. I'm also looking at the shape. When you look at a certain shape you want to make on your eye, maybe you see somebody else do it or you see a photograph. You think, oh, that looks cool. And then you get it to your actual eye and you're like, okay, I got to play with that a little bit because my eye is clearly different than that, that person's, person's eye. Yep. <laughs> Yep. Not saying, you know, your eye shape is any worse, it's just you gotta finagle it a little bit. So I'm still I'm using this little soft blooming brush from the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. This is a really good applicator brush for something like this. I'm gonna go back to the It's My Pleasure and use do or dough. I don't understand why. That's do or dough. I think they're gonna go do or die. Mm -hmm. No, it's D-O-U-G-H. Oh I'm saying maybe that's what that's what they were playing off. Oh. oh you know, using this wet and wild stick first, I, I like that. Yeah? Yeah, because I feel like the purples are playing on mm -hmm. top of each other instead of me making it work on top of a white base. Correct. I used to do that all the time back in the day. I use a multi-stick and then mm -hmm. build the color around it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it deepens the color. I really like this. And um, Beyonce's makeup artist, Sir John, does that too. He doesn't use um, eyeshadow primer. He uses a multi sticks. I mean, I'm sure his are not white well, but. <laughs> Probably not. I'm just going to take my angle brush again and use uh, Earth Shine, which is the center color right here. You focus? I don't think it's focusing. Yeah, okay. And then um, I'm going to use that to literally kind of like highlight the wing and then start making the other highlights underneath. Like it's, it's like the opposite of shadow casting. It's okay, fancy. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go back into the Alexa Stone palette for Make Revolution and we're gonna use that first color that we use on our upper eyelid. And I'm just gonna put that as close as I can to the under eyelid. And you know what, before I do that, I forgot a step. I want my eyes to be a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Or to look a little bigger in this one, so I'm gonna use. So it's not one wild. This is LA Girl. <laughs> this is a pro primer eyeshadow primer, and this is in a very beautiful white color. And I'm gonna put that on my inner waterline. Oh yeah, that's a good trick. And that's just gonna make my eyes look a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna use Sleeper, which is this really warm purple. I feel like you can do a really cohesive look with this palette right here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use Sleeper to go underneath my eye um, or around my lash line as well. I'm going to be using the Violet Boss Best Life Palette. What? I know. I love. I like this palette a lot. I actually use it more than I remember that I do. This black in here, this holiday, man, it is the truth. Yeah, that like black, that, that, that is black a very, play. is a very true black where you mm -hmm. don't even really need to wet your brush to get that one going. But I am gonna be wetting my brush because I want some precision here. So that line that I drew right above my crease, I took it to my inner corner, and then the eyeliner that was on my upper lash line, I took that to the inner corner too. So there's like two flips coming out. So what I'm doing now is I'm literally drawing out the shape of the rest of the bag. So now that I've done a little drawing on my upper eyelid, I'm gonna go underneath and try to see if I can make a wing liner that'll go up. You guys see, I'm literally just outlining the bat. That looks crazy in the monitor. So I want to keep looking in the mirror so I don't freak myself out. And hey, what's really cool about these lips is the fact that you can do them with just an experience. Oh, yeah. I mean, we have too many palettes. But especially if you have the Just a Gem palette, you can definitely do what I'm doing. I'm just using different other palettes because they're in front of me and I kind of can. So, yeah. That makes sense. 
Now, one thing I do want to say is I do think I took that right a little too far beyond. So what I'm going to do once we go off camera is I'm going to just put um, concealer or foundation right underneath that because I, I really want the liner to be the very last thing that is on that you can see on my lower lash line. Okay. And so for me, I pretty much have, that looks really cool. <laughs> really I just am now seeing her look and I'm like, oh, you did that. Yeah, so um, nice. I am going to be filling in spaces with um, with liner and mm -hmm. more glitter. And then the bat will actually come all the way down my nose and to the other side. So uh, when we snap into this, guys, we're going to have full on Halloween faces. Wow, so you're just gonna replicate it on this side, basically, mm -hmm. and then just join them right here. Yes. Where are you gonna put the glitter? Well, there's gonna be glitter on the lid and in between each of the wings. I just had to get the base okay. colors down. All right, so we're yeah. just gonna go ahead and finish this on our other eye and then come back and show you guys what it all looks like. Yeah. So, you ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A one, a two, a three. I know, right? <laughs> So guys, this is our finished looks. So yeah. I'm of course a ladybug today. Yeah. And I'm a little bat with bat wings. So yeah. clearly, um, we have two completely different yeah. ways of attacking this. Um, mine kind of went out into my cheek a little bit because mm -hmm. it has a little trail. Mm -hmm. And then she just went like full artistic yeah. mode on This her is face. very much, this is, I just drew a bat on my face. I thought I was gonna make it kind of like Glammy cute, which I did. There's a lot of glitter in here. There's a lot of layers. There's a lot of shadowing um, But I went very literal with it and so therefore there's a fact on my face. On your face. It's yeah. really cute <laughs> I think this was great just because we use I mean we only use makeup like yeah. honestly I use just um, Lipstick I use eyeshadows and then to make it a little more glittery. I use like a, um, the NYX glitter bases and that was really just Yeah, the main thing that I used was actually this right here. Even though I had the Morphe palette in front of me, the majority of this, even like the shading and the highlighting came from this palette. Just all the different colors mm. that are in it. I, it was, so if you wanna do this look, get some black liner and this. <laughs> and this should be and able to be do it. good to go. Yeah. And I used yep. black lipstick and um, I had the next metallic with um, some matte black lipstick that I can't find right now. Okay. But yeah, this is, that, that was it. That was it for the look. And yeah. maybe, uh, I probably can't even see my earrings, but my earrings are like red right here. So just little things to pop that off. Yeah. And again, this was Dollar Tree. Literal so Dollar Tree. So it's a dollar. And mm -hmm. then, you know, if you want to get like a wet and wild lipstick, that's like another dollar. Mm -hmm. And then just get you, you know, a palette with red and you can be good to go with mine. I just use red, all red eyeshadow liner, black eyeliner and white eyeliner. And that was it. It looks so, really pretty. I, I like really yours like a lot too. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. So that is it for today's Halloween look. We hope mm -hmm. you guys liked it. It's a very simple, very inexpensive way to dress up um, mm -hmm. this holiday season. And we're gonna be coming out with more of these. So this will be like a little mini Halloween series. Mm -hmm. So if you enjoyed the video, like always, we ask that you give it a thumbs up. Yes. Subscribe to Room Real Family if you haven't done so already. And hit that notification bell. And that way you can be aware of all future videos that we release. Yes, and also go to our social medias at Room Real, R-U-M-O-R-M-E-A-L. That's our Instagram. We have our lookbook coming out as it's rumor mail that's the name of it.com and then uh we have twitter and facebook and all that stuff so just you know connect that's who we are awesome okay so that's the end of today's video we hope you guys enjoyed it mm -hmm. and we'll see you on the next one bye, bye.